So I found a pretty interesting article today here on NFL.com. It seems Sean McVay was involved in a podcast with Peter Schrager of Good Morning Football. And one of the special guests they had was Kyle Shanahan, head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, San Francisco being the big rival to the Rams. And I believe, in my personal opinion, the biggest threat to a division title for the Rams in the upcoming season. Uh, I believe, I actually do believe Seattle and Arizona are going to be quite good. Uh, But I just feel like San Francisco is going to have a bit of a bounce back year. I think they're, I have a feeling they're pretty hungry. I have a feeling they want to come out and uh, with a chip on their shoulder and show that that uh, they deserve to be in the conversation. So I do feel they're going to be pretty good. But in this, in this article here, it, it seems um, it highlights some of that podcast. And they, they actually talked about a number of things, uh, one of which being the big trade uh, in the offseason where the Rams acquired Matthew Stafford from the Detroit Lions. Uh, we shipped off Jared Goff and a few first-round picks over there for him. It was a pretty big trade. And it in the weeks leading up to that, it would appear the 49ers were also in the running. And they had also shown a lot of interest in acquiring Matthew Stafford. Uh, and Kyle, uh, Kyle Shanahan seemed to, seemed to really like him a lot. And well... It would appear that Kyle here seemed to be a bit salty about how how this all went down. As you can see in the title here, uh, I can right here, Kyle Shanahan as he's talking to Sean McVay on Matthew Stafford regarding the trade. "Quote: You don't want to get me started, dude." <laughs> Let's uh let, let, let's go ahead and get into this a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's my man Isaac Bruce. That's uh they're in the greatest greatest play in the Super Bowl. There, I'll I'll get back to that in a little bit, but just continuing with this article here for you guys. When the Los Angeles Rams made the blockbuster trade for Matthew Stafford, both the quarterback and coach Sean McVay were famously in Cabo. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was kind of funny. And another key NFL NFLer, pardon me, was also in the area, but had a different take on the trade of his division rival, Kyle Shanahan. So it would appear Kyle was in Cabo as well. With the San Francisco 49ers milling around the possibility of trading for Stafford, Shanahan was studying up on the 32-year-old quarterback. Shanahan was recently on the Flying Coach podcast with McVay and Peter Schrager. McVay ribbed Shanahan, asking the Niners coach how he liked the Rams' new addition. Now, okay, so I gotta say, I actually just um, discovered this podcast very recently. The Flying Coach podcast. Uh, apparently, it, apparently, it's a podcast where Sean... And Peter, it, it would appear Sean McVay and Peter Schrager are are friends, uh, and uh, good friends apparently. I guess they've known each other for quite some time. Uh, back back in uh, back in the day when Sean was working with Washington, uh, he he met Peter there. W- one of the episodes on this podcast, the Flying Coach podcast. They delved deep into how they actually met. It was actually pretty. It was pretty cool. It 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 provides kind of a insight on on Sean and Peter and just on certain topics and whatever they're talking about. It's 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 pretty cool. I, I would recommend it. I actually enjoyed it a lot because there was I, the last podcast I had actually listened to, the last episode. Uh, Sean was going into detail about how he was interview the interview process with the Rams and with he was interviewed with the 49ers as well and just pretty much how that went how he had dinner 
you know, with all with with Kevin Demoff and you know Les Snead, Marshall Falk was there, and how he. Uh, there was there was a part I guess at the end of dinner I can't quite remember where he was walking with uh, the owner Stan Lee, and he was saying how. He 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 just pretty much highlighted like his uh, his his feelings, you know, and how nervous he was, and how he was wondering if he should close the deal. And say he wanted to be a part of the Rams and wanted to accept the job. It, it was actually pretty cool, you know. It's a it's a good podcast. I would recommend it. But um, so yeah, they do this together and they have guests all the time. The latest episode had Kyle Shanahan and Shanahan here talking about Matthew Stafford goes. You don't want to get me started, dude. <laughs> Shanahan responded, that was frustrating. I was in Cabo. I was studying it all. I remember looking through it because everybody was telling me it was a possibility. Stafford's the man. I studied him hard coming out of college, and you always play against him, so you know how good he is. But to know he might be available, and to spend two weeks really watching him, Sean... Yeah, he's better than I realize. He was the man. He's actually underrated to me. I know how good of a guy you got. I know how good he is at play action. I know how smart he is. Not only does he just have a big arm, he's got touch. He knows where to go with the ball. So I was trying to get involved in it. So Kyle really liked Matthew, Matthew Stafford here. And um, I'm, I, I myself am pretty exci excited as well. There are a few things about him that concern me, but I will get to that in, in a later video. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with this article. I remember Saturday I was so stressed out, and finally we talked to someone. It was 7 at night. It was 7 at night, excuse me. And they are like, no, nothing's happening with in regards with trying to trade for him at the earliest until tomorrow so you can finish your night so i'm like all right i'm done i put my phone down talk to man this is kyle shanahan continuing by the way put the phone down talk to mandy i'm like all right let's go out to dinner let's have some drinks half an hour later my buddy calls me and is like i'm just telling you if you want stafford you need to get a hold of him right now. I'm like, what do you mean? We just talk to people. I can sleep on this. We'll talk to them tomorrow. I'm just telling you, and this guy responds, I'm just telling you, you need to talk to him right now. And then it was all over. This... This this is just kind of fascinating to me, just just how the the workings of the uh, the NFL and how uh, franchises and teams acquire a player. It it's very um, you know there's there's a lot of moving parts involved. There's a lot of phone calls. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of kind of kind of showing that you want that you're, you're trying to get to him trying to convince him to come to your team it's all pretty cool it kind of reminds me of the of a show uh pretty good show uh ballers with the rock um it, 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 that, that show ballers kind of shows you know kind of the 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 inner workings you know with the nfl players and how they get signed and the money deals and how they get traded and it's pretty cool if you're a football fan, you know, and this is what I was thinking about when I was reading this and to continue on. McVeigh then replies to Kyle, if it makes you feel any better, it came faster than I thought to Kyle. McVeigh replied. And one other thing I guess I just didn't know, uh, it would appear Sean and Kyle are actually pretty close as well they used to work together in in washington uh back in the day so i i it's it would appear they were really good friends i actually listened to this podcast uh, to this episode of the podcast and you could tell that 
that they were boy that they were boys essentially uh competitive but they were boys uh which, which was which i didn't really realize that that's kind of that's kind of cool but you know mcveigh was kind of kind of you know just kind of giving uh kyle a little bit of a jab it was a friendly jab because they are boys i personally would just caution sean because unfortunately you know, san francisco has had our number they've swept us two years in a row so i mean we as rams fans we really don't have a lot of room to talk a lot of trash <laughs> I guess, you know, at least for the time being, I do think we'll write that ship this upcoming season. But, uh, they, you know, Kyle has, has had Sean's number. So, there, there's nothing really I can defend, defend against that, man. We're going to have to step up next season. But, continuing on, the fact I was in Cabo, man, I would have... I would have been there, and I would have made it really awkward on you two to enjoy it. Shanahan bantered back. You would have had to tell me to leave. So clearly, and he, and Kyle, you know, Kyle Shanahan, he he was uh, he was talking to him, and they were kind of you know ripping on each other, going back and forth, you know, talking about this whole thing, but uh. You know, you could just hear it in his voice, though, that he was, you know, that you could, the salt was there. The, the, the salt was definitely there. Kyle really wanted to acquire Matthew Stafford. And, you know, the Rams kind of just came in and just, <laughs> they offered two first round picks, you know, and um, really just, just, just kind of took it from him. So, um yeah yeah i don't blame I, i'd be pretty salty too to be honest with you so yeah I, I don't blame him at all but a couple things here apparently you should go to cabo in january and february because you might bump into an nfl coach or a star that does seem to be a little strange how many people were down there but you know like whatever i guess mcveigh asking shanahan about his new toy is something only good friends can get away with hey you like my new yacht bigger than the last one like i said they're they're boys so they're just kind of ripping again sean be careful because he has whooped you for the last two years so we can't really talk a lot of trash that we beat him ultimately the ram shipped two for like i was just saying the ram shipped two first round picks and jared goff to detroit for stafford who la believes can put them over the top after sputtering the last few seasons this right here i personally don't like to get it too ahead of ahead of things uh i am very excited about the upcoming season but it's a long season a lot can happen so i'm just gonna take it one game at a time and hope hope for the best but i am very excited yeah you know the hype is very real for this team it had been reported that the Niners were interested in trading for Stafford, but never made an official offer. Offer, excuse me, after the bidding escalated, Shanahan lamenting all that studying on Stafford, only to watch him go to a rival. Underscores that San Francisco intended to find an eventual replacement for Jimmy Garoppolo. Instead, they ended up trading three first rounders for the number three overall pick to snag Trey Lance. Trey Lance, who I don't know a whole lot about, but I have heard he's pretty good. So we, we're, we're going to have to see what he can do with that because um, he I have heard he's he is quite good, a very mobile quarterback. I uh, don't know much about him other than that, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what they choose to do with him. And uh, according to, to to Kyle, Jimmy Garoppolo here, it's more of a, a – avail in the podcast, he was saying how it was more of an availability issue than a talent issue, which, you know, I'm not, not quite sure, you know, 
what to think of that. You know, but it's true. Jimmy was getting getting hurt a lot, and he did play well just a few years ago. He, he took him to the Super Bowl. So, you know, he's not a bad quarterback, but clearly they wanted to move on. And continuing on here, at least the film study Shanahan went through in Cabo won't go to waste now that he has to face Stafford twice a year in the NFC West. My goodness. So that was just this little article. I, d- I just found this really interesting because um, it just – the whole – I had heard that San Francisco, like, placed the a, placed a offer – for Matthew, um, I had heard that, but I, I didn't realize how how invested they were, specifically Kyle Shanahan, into wanting to acquire him. And then, um, and just how salty the guy was once, uh, once Sean kind of just snagged them, just, just snagged them away from him. So I thought it was really interesting. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens this upcoming season. I hope, you know, I, I'm going to be rooting for Matthew. You know, I, I hope he does well. I believe he will do well. It is a long season. Uh, you know, I, I like to temper my expectations because I, I feel I just personally will enjoy the season a little better that way. You know, just I, I'm, right now I'm just focusing on the opener against the Bears, I believe. Yep, Chicago. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, all I got for you today on this on this video. I just I just thought this was fascinating. You know, I actually went after I read this article. I just went to uh, where's it at here? The Flying Coach podcast with McVay and Peter Schrager, and I listened to this episode. It provided a lot of interesting insight and in, be into uh, Kyle and to Sean and their relationship. And it was pretty interesting. And uh, the Flying Coach podcast, I just... (laughs) That's just a pretty cool name.